I had some people asking why I went with the pits and spits over the uh, Yoder, uh, some of the other um, grills. And to be honest, I was looking at a Yoder, a uh, Blazing Gridiron, uh, Smoking Brothers and Louisiana Grill and if you see the smoke production coming out right now on this grill it's a clean thin blue smoke almost constant that's one of the reasons I went with this grill um, the other reason is just the overall construction. This thing is just, um, you know, everybody says the Yoder's built like a tank, and it is a very heavy duty. But uh, the Pits and Spits, if you're not familiar with it, is even heavier than a Yoder is. Um, the barrel on the Pits and Spits is made out of seven gauge steel I don't know if you'll be able to tell it too much you can see it there it's a really really thick metal the roll top lid is made out of 10 gauge stainless so to compare that uh, Yoder is made out of 10 and 12 gauge where the pits and spits is made out of seven and 10 gauge. Um, some of the other things that I really liked about it was the stainless steel shelf. The roll top lid is, is fantastic. You know, on the Elder, you got that big heavy counterweight there to open up the lid. Uh, when you want to use your front shelf here, anything when the lid opens it's in the way anything you got there you got to move it with a roll top lid you can set something down here on the shelf and you can actually utilize the shelf and when you go to open the lid it opens up away from the shelf so you don't have to worry about uh, you know you can still utilize the shelf uh, you know it's got a really heavy duty uh, lower shelf and frame uh, 35 pound hopper this new hopper it's got a nice rounded corner design it's really really nice a uh, new controller which is tuned perfectly that's why you can get that kind of smoke production almost constantly is because the way that controller is tuned so it's got two big shelves inside so I had I had some people questioning why went with the pits and spits so I just wanted to do a real quick video for some people that may not be aware of you know the pits and spits and they've been around for a long time making stick burners for I think 30 30 something years I'm not sure the exact uh, uh, number of years but they've been around a real long time um, and they are located right here in Houston, Texas. So uh, that was another factor um, was being able to save on the uh, shipping, being able to pick it up locally. But in all honesty, I probably would have, I would have bought it even if I had to have it shipped. It's that good. So anyway, uh, that's my two cents as to the reason why I went with the pits and spits over the, the Yoder YS640. It also has a little bit more cooking area than the uh, Yoder does. So, that's it. Bob out.